Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm out in West Byfleet, uh, just north of the A3, and I'm going to a couple of churches today, but I've also got an ulterior motive to be here, because I have a hunch about something. Um, this is a vast churchyard actually, quite, quite large. Uh, but here, we're starting, stopping off first at St Mary's, which is a 14th century church in West Byfleet. And uh, it's rather lovely actually, lots of screaming kids from a school, lots of robots going on down there, so it's good there's a little bit of noise. Um, yeah, let's have a little look around. Oh, this is interesting. Um, these are the surviving remains of a 19th century outbuilding believed to be an old churchyard maintenance equipment store. Shame it's not older, but an old 19th century outbuilding. It's rather interesting. There are a lot of graves in this churchyard that are associated with the Brooklands Museum nearby, which is obviously a recent video. Um, I wonder if it'll be open, if you have a look. Not open. Oh, what can you do? There's an ancient brass in there of Thomas Taylor, it used to be a rector here back in the medieval period. I'd like to have seen that. Um, okay. Okay, being an added bonus, if we could have got inside, but hey, what can you do? Sorry, it's a noisy uh, drain lorry, drain refuge lorry just over there. But of course, of course, I'm here for another reason as well. So indulge me, because I, I want to test something out. Okay, before I came here, I was looking at the church on the map. I had a book given to me, which I'm going to show you in a minute when we go back to the car. And it's about a straight alignment of some sacred sites and some churches uh, along what they call the Stag Hill Ley Line. Um, I don't think that is correct, but Upon researching, I found that this church here at West by Fleet, probably, I think it's St George's Hill nearby. Uh, the next church we're going to down in Wisley. And then Newark Priory also are on a ley line. Now a ley line is a straight alignment of sacred sites. I don't really pursue them really, I'm more into doubting for earth energy. But I'm curious to know whether there is an earth energy current flowing through where the ley line is. Um, I did a bit of dowsing. I, it's very hard to film and douse at the same time because I'm focused on the dowsing. Um, so I doused, it picked up as a yes. I asked which way the energy was flowing and it went over there going down towards Wisley Church. So yes, I wouldn't say it was actually a very strong signal, um, but it's quite interesting. So what we'll do, I'll quickly show you the book I'm referring to and then we'll go down to Wisley Church and see what we can pick up there. Uh, it's a little bit more isolated, so there's a little bit less um, external noise. So, uh, yeah. So this is a book I'm referring to. It's Timpson's Ley Lines, a layman tracking of the lays. Um, John Timpson used to be a BBC reporter, I think. Um, and here's where I come going to see the Stag Hill line. And he's talking about West Byfleet Church. There used to be a, an ancient mound here. Um, large mounds near churches with or without a staircase always delight a lay hunter it says here now say so i'm not really particularly out looking for ley lines it's not it is my thing i do dowsing what interests me is do the earth energy currents converge the yang the yin and yang the male and the female does it converge at these sacred sites um but it's a really ni nice um book actually a really good entry here it's not, there's not many <laughs> entries for Surrey but it says it goes all the way down to Shackleford which we'll do at another time because there's some nice old churches there but the one I've discovered um, I, I mean I don't know how accurate it was it looked pretty straight on a straight line is West Byfleet here as I said going down in a minute to Wisley Church there's a nice little interesting uh, thing right by the porch at that church as well uh, then goes down to Newark Priory and then further on, it looks like it goes through the church at Send. 
so we're talking about sort of probably about two three mile uh, ley line but does the currents converge there that's the question so I need to do a little bit more dowsing so I'm going to go down now to Wisley and see what we can find there church mid 12th century why haven't i been here before it's not that far from from home why haven't i been here before it's lovely yeah mid 12th century wisley church the original dedication has been lost over time i don't know how you can lose a dedication i'm sure it's in records somewhere but anyway um yeah it's lovely and there's some traces here of some frescoes some wall paintings here and up there on the wall as well Even in the church, you can hear the constant hum of the A3 because you're right by the A3 and M25 crossover um, intersection. So it's constant humming, constant humming. The rectors of Wisley going back to John D. Haywood, 1308. 1308. That's the thing, you've got the records of the rectors here, but you haven't got records of the original dedication. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, just outside the porch of the church is this, a sarsen stone, ancient sarsen stone. Sarsen stones aren't very well known in Surrey, but I don't think we have many. You know, most sarsens come from the Marlborough Downs. To have a sarsen stone, which could have been part of, um, I'm not going to say a stone circle, it might have been a burial mound, who knows. Um, but it's ancient sarsen stone, right outside the porch. I think there's some sarsens at Bagshot Lee, not far from here. But generally, Surrey's not known, and the home counties in general are not known for sarsen stones. So, yeah, that is quite intriguing. Oh, well, that's interesting. I've just done some dowsing here, and I've cross-referenced it a few times, and uh, my rods are saying that the St Mary's at West Byfleet is not associated with the energy current here at Wisley. So the, the one at St Mary's must be something different. I asked two or three times, is this church associated with the West Byfleet church on the energy line? And it said negative, and my negative, um, is outwards but when I asked if it's still associated with uh, Newark Priory and a couple of other churches it said yes so this could be a completely different energy current coming through what's interesting there's really a lot of ancient sites um, around this area I mean just over at Wisley Common there's a couple of round barrows they've been, in, they've been chopping a lot of uh, trees down and I actually saw it from the A3 just now I've never seen it before there's burial mounds there's um, uh, Roman villa, ex old Roman villas over at um, Stoke de Arbonin. Um So yeah, it's an area rich in prehistory. So this could have been really quite a, a, a major ancient settlement uh, back in the day. Bear in mind, I've come out quite raw with this. I haven't really, really researched it properly, which I'm going to have to do and do a companion video to see what I can match up. Because if St Mary's at West Byfleet, is on a different energy current. But I did ask it, didn't I? I asked, Does it, is it connected with this church? And it said, yes. But I've got here and it says, no. I've never had that before. So either I'm a crap dowser <laughs> or something's wrong somewhere. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the energy current does flow this way, but it veers off somewhere. Remember, it weaves like a snake. 
you know it's not a it's not a straight alignment like a ley line is so I'm, I'm I'm a bit confused especially with the uh, with the stone there as well so I need to do a bit more research find out the other churches on this line which I think need investigating further and see what we can come up with God, it's very bright today spring is in the air it's a bit a bit nippy actually for the beginning of March but um, yeah I'm, I'm quite intrigued here I could be obviously completely wrong absolutely wrong you know I've been dowsing a long time and uh, I'm usually okay but this one's give me a false positive a false negative or a false positive as they say a false positive hmm well, we're not going to any other churches today but I will go on to these other ones at a later date um, because I'm confused confused oh it's a nice day out anyway So yeah, there we go. Um, I'm confused. This little expedition hasn't turned out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> so a little bit further work is needed. I hope you enjoyed the video anyway, because it's nice to get out in the countryside. Uh, so I was trying to park really, really close to my car. Um, and uh, please like, subscribe, like normal stuff. And we'll see you next time. More work to be done. Take care. <laughs>